It's no surprise that sitting all day does some undesirable things to our bodies. We live in a world that is very conducive to excess sitting. We sit at work, we sit on the way to and from work, we sit down to eat and we sit down on the couch to chill out. Sitting more than 3 to 4 hours per day can impact your health significantly. The consequences are muscular tightness, imbalances and postural issues. To counteract the consequences of sitting, we will give you some tips and also show you a short workout routine you can implement into your daily life. The first tip is quite simple. Walk more. Walking is great for you and it's an ideal type of movement to offset sitting. If you sit at a desk for a long part of the day, get up and take a walk for a few minutes every hour. You can even park your car further away from your destination. And of course you should always take the stairs whenever possible. The second tip is correcting your posture. When you sit you are usually focused on anything else than your posture. If you're sitting on the couch, you are focused on the TV. If you're sitting on the desk, you are focused on your work. And if you're sitting on the dinner table, you're either focused on your meal or the conversation with your friends and family. While you're busy with those things, you don't even notice how your body is aligned. To increase your body's awareness, try to correct your posture as often as possible by following this short checklist. Keep your feet flat on the floor and hip width apart. Second, tuck your chin. Third, relax your shoulders. And fourth, keep the spine as naturally curved as possible. The goal is to include these short posture corrections as often as possible while you're sitting. Of course it takes a while until it becomes a habit. But the more you notice it and the more you correct it, the more you get used to it. The third tip is move more. Even if it's important to correct your posture, you should still know that it's okay to relax and even slouch from time to time. The main problem we want to avoid is to permanently sit in the same position. That is the reason why you should change the way you sit frequently. This gives your body a short release from the current sitting position and with that relaxes your muscles. For example, every now and then you can switch to a bent over position in which you rest on your elbows and forearms. Or you can lean sideways onto your elbows if you have an armrest. This is very beneficial because it shifts some pressure from the spine to your shoulders and shoulder plates, it changes the position of your spine and with that the way it gets stressed and it brings movement and some mobilization to your spine. Now we move on to the workout routine. This quick routine can be done a couple times a day and only consists of three exercises. These exercises strengthen the posterior part of your body while stretching the anterior muscles. This helps counteracting the tightness that occurs when you're permanently in a seated position. Plus, it strengthens the muscles that you need for a good posture. Of course, this is only a short routine. So if you want to go more into detail, you should head over to kellymove.com and get our mobility program. The program comes in three levels and is designed as a step-by-step -step online course that can be done by everyone. So no matter if you want to improve your posture, eradicate imbalances, recover from an injury or just want to develop a healthy and evenly trained body, our mobility program is the right choice for you. All right. Now it's time to start with the routine. The first exercise you have to do is the face pull. Of course this version is done without resistance, but it's still very effective if you're doing it right. Here you do a mix of arm extension and shoulder rotation. You can imagine it as a double biceps pose with your thumbs pointing backwards. The more you pull your elbows backwards, the more you open your chest and the more your shoulder blades come together. The rotation is also a very important part of this exercise. So try to rotate your shoulders outwards as much as possible. We suggest to do a dynamic version of this exercise for about 30 to 60 seconds. 
The second exercise is the back scratch. Here you reach up with one arm and bend the elbow to pat your back. Reach your fingers down your upper back as far as you are able to. At the same time you put the other hand behind your lower back and reach the fingers up your back as far as you can. The goal is to touch your fingertips. But even flexible people can have problems to do this. So don't worry if you can't reach that far. But make sure to not overextend yourself. We suggest to hold this position for 20 seconds before you switch to the other side, which you hold for 20 seconds as well. Do this one more time before you continue with the next exercise. The last exercise in this short routine is the deep squat. The deep squat requires a perfect blend of mobility and stability through all the important joints and segments of your body. We are all able to perform a deep squat as young children. But modern life starts to compromise our joint range of motion as we grow up. And with that it limits the way we are able to use our bodies. If you are a bit stiff, your body compensates this by lifting your heels off the floor, rounding your back and caving in your knees. To avoid these mistakes, you can support yourself by holding on to something to prevent falling backwards. This also lets you go down as low as you can tolerate. Hold this position for 30 to 60 seconds. Alright, now it's up to you. Include these tips and exercises into your daily routine and you're on a good way to improve your physical health and well-being. If you want to make the next step and work more on your mobility, you can visit calimove.com and check our mobility program. Of course we also offer many other programs. No matter if you want to increase your strength, learn new movements or just want to build the body of your dreams, we got the right program for you. Each program is designed with our experience as trainers, physical therapists and sports scientists and comes as a step-by-step -step online course you can follow easily. If you liked the video leave a thumbs up and if you have any further questions just leave a comment. I'm Alex and I'll see you in the next video.